Hi everyone, you alright? Hope everybody's having a great day. I've had a great day, so I say. Yeah. The demolition in Blackpool continue, continues. Um, yeah. Near to the Holiday Inn. Well, at the back... Where the well, there's major demolition work going on. Um, they're knocking down a row of so called premises and they're going to put a big, massive office block there. And it's going to be a building for the Department of Work and Pensions. The reason why they're going to have that, why they're having that building built, is they have a um, another office. Just I think it's on Peel Park, and they've decided that they're going to leave Peel Park, and because the building is getting a little bit cramped. They do all different, uh, you know, benefit processing for the for that area. Well, there are rumours that they that certain departments, um, well, they're running out of space there, and the DWP wants to, um, how can I put this? Uh, save money on uh, their properties, you know, the offices that they use. And there is talk of them reducing the number of offices that they have um, from job centres to uh, actual places where they do the decision making, who gets what. Um there is a rumor. Well, I can't remember if there's two, if they have two two sets of offices at uh, Blackpool, but they have the main job centre there, and they also have um, where they decide where all you know they look at the claims that. Uh, have been submitted and, st and stuff like that also they're talking about amalgamating one or two of the um, centres that they have like uh, assessment you know for assessments for uh, the new benefits that are going to be coming along because there is a there is um, one or two Rumours going around that they're getting rid of um, PIP, they're getting rid of ESA, and br and bringing in a new benefit altogether. There's also that it, I've been hearing rumblings that even Universal Credit could be disappearing. Uh, I don't know if there's any truth in this, but. Uh, you know, I think it's going to be, for what I've been hearing, we might be just be going on, just be going on to something called JSA Plus, um, of which you'll be, uh, you know, it's back to the good old days sort of thing, you know, streamlining, streamlining uh, the benefit system down even more um, but the once they finish this new office block it's going to house 3,000 3, 3, civil servants and mainly DWP uh, employees um, I've been hearing, as I said, I've been hearing rumbles that um, one or two other 
um, places uh, might disappear for the DWP. Maybe fewer job centres uh, because they've done that with my area. If you live in Darwin, you don't you don't sign on in Darwin. You've got to come to Blackburn and sign on, which uh, is a bus ride, a quite a fair about an hour to half, half an hour to an hour bus ride. Um, depending where you're travelling from, because there are part because the Blackburn office covers parts of uh, where is it? Not just Darwin, the smaller, smaller uh, places between uh, Blackburn and Bolton. Um, some of the places are um, covered by, you know, just outside the Blackburn con conurbation, like some, you know, uh, I'm trying to think what the name it is. Uh, well, it's just on the outskirts of Bolton anyway, where the I think there's a t um, an Asda as you go into um, into Bolton from the Blackburn side. Blackburn side, they cover Ashley Bridge. That's it. Uh, Ashley Bridge and uh, up as far as Ashley Bridge. And uh, I think some of that, um, and then after that, it's all Bolton after that, because uh, they also do uh, assessments for people in Darwin. Um, the paperwork is mainly done at Blackburn, and then they send the pa paperwork to either Prest Preston, Blackpool, or Burnley are the places that it goes to all the paperwork goes to so what they're basically trying to do basically trying to do is cut down uh, the place you know administrative places that uh, that they use also I've been hearing that the Blackburn Blackburn office is going to be scaled down so they're basically looking at um, finding somewhere else to have the job centre um, well it started it, you know um, quite a bit ago I think it was 19 early 19 80, 90, 90s, they used to have the job centre on Northgate and it was quite a fair, fair small, well they had the downstairs and the upstairs and uh, I think it's getting like that again and uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Well, today we went out, uh, did the musical car parks once again. Um, in a lot of places, um, Asta's had a major, major uh, revamp. But uh, I've been hearing that the uh, cash, cash, well, Tillless experiment in Bradford is going pretty well for Morrison's. Uh, so, you know, it looks like Morrison's might decide to roll it out to a few more test places for, um, you know, cam like the Amazon Fresh uh, um, example. You know, you get 
you know, you have a membership and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but the other thing is about that, they can basically turn round and uh, study your shop it, shopping habit, shopping habits to see what you buy and uh, see what, and they can keep a track of what products sell well and uh, in, try to entice you to buy more product uh, from them. But uh, it's like what I said uh, a bit ago, um, that light, you know, a, a lot of places are gonna go like that. And one of the things that has been happening of late uh, Amazon's been advertising um, you do your grocery shop with us sort of thing and uh, well one of the things you've got to really ask about is how fresh is your how fresh, fresh is your produce going to be if Amazon's going to end up delivering it? Um, yeah, that's one of the things you have to look at. Um, are they going to be able to get your uh, shopping there on time? And is it going to be, um, you know, is it going to, is it going? You know, is, is it going to be? F is it going to be fresh enough for you? You know, and uh, you know the vans are not refrigerated. You know, but then again, they might uh, have separate vans for that. Tell the because they don't. They don't. Uh, a lot of their employees are not, uh, well, um, you know. But I've also been hearing stories that some of the um, Amazon people who work in the warehouses are basically finding out that... Um, they can escape the warehouse um, and become Amazon delivery drivers, and uh, a lot of a lot of them are uh, op opting for that. So we'll just wait. You know, they're going to see how that ha how that uh, pans out. Um, as a way of basically getting out of the warehouse and uh, the monotony of that type of work. Um, also, I've been hearing that um, bus drivers, yeah, bus drivers have been have been deciding that to, they're not getting. The wages that they deserve, so they're leaving and coming lorry drivers instead. I don't know which is worst, uh, having to deal with passengers or having to having to drive a lorry. You know, but that's what's happening. Uh, it's the uh, switcheroo, uh, switcheroo time for some for some bus drivers. Because they just get fed up of it, you know, and uh, they wanted something um, different. Also, there's been an announcement by, um, I think it was GBRF, that they're looking for, um, looking for people to learn to drive trains, uh, because what they're trying to do. Is move, move, uh, the freight, because they they were saying that with the lorry driver issue, 
that they could help out because like the average um locomotive um <clears throat> taking containers can can take away take off well it can take up to 60 lorries off the road you know and uh it, they're looking gbrf are l looking to um you know get people to drive trains you know what a, what a what a look hey and i must tell you folks driving a freight train um yeah it is quite a, a different type of job altogether and in a lot of cases if you if you get the you know if you get get one you know it's how can I put it it's well paid very well paid same with pass same with passenger trains I've been hearing that's the other thing that I also I've been hearing a lot of passenger train drivers are basically turning round and uh, they don't want to deal with especially the conductors they don't want to deal with passengers anymore and a lot of them are basically you know leaving and going to uh GBRF and uh, and other companies like that uh direct rail services and and what's the other one uh direct rail services and they're basically picking them jobs up uh learning to drive a, a train and uh getting good money for it yeah it's been of a been a bit of a funny day today um i was going i was uh, going to go out somewhere uh today but to all of a sudden we ended up uh, doing the musical car parks once again and uh yeah and Alfie, yes and Alfie is still here um he's he's just come in and uh, he's sat on the settee in the other room yeah um also what else was there what else was there um oh yeah there were a lot of people waiting for the u.s flights at heathrow and manchester for the first uh flights yesterday uh going to the u.s you know for fully vaccinated people you got to take a de test two days before was it between two and three days before you travel and uh you have your nhs uh thing to say you've been jabbed twice or what or jabbed three times whatever and uh yeah we'll just have to wait and see what happens with that i think the two airlines was virgin atlantic and british uh, i think it was yeah british airways and was, i think there was another one american airlines uh those are the three that uh, were doing the flights for the first out. Yeah, as I must say, it's been oh, the weather here has been on, off, on, off, and uh, yeah, there are talking talks of um, whales going in pausing mask mandates once again and uh, because the numbers there are jumping up and uh, yeah it's a wait and see situation 
and uh, yeah and I just hope everybody's having a good ta good uh, you know day and I just hope everybody's all the bloggers in Blackpool um, were are uh, doing some nice blogs of late um, I saw a um, a p well several pieces the worst towns to live in the UK Blackpool came up several times but you know we'll have to you know and who else was there Oldham Oldham that got named as one of the worst places to live in the UK and I think the other one was Rochdale and the other one was Torquay yeah that got me that definitely got me did that one what's so bad about Torquay well to them to them who did the survey turned round and said said it was so mm -mm, what can I say about that um what else was there what else was there I can't remember so I will be sending sending this video up later in a in a short while as soon as I've finished it uh I've got the, uh, you know, they're doing all sorts of crap on telly today, Christmas jumper and all that sort of stuff, and uh, yeah, yeah, they're trying to flog all sorts of crap here on uh, shopping channels, right. I'm going to let this go and big massive shout out to all the usual and uh, I hope to see some videos of late um, yeah so I'm going to get going so it's 3, 2, 1